Alright everybody, welcome back to another part of this Fallout 3 walkthrough. We are back here in front of Megaton. This time we are not starting a DLC. We are actually continuing with the main quest line. Pretty much every time I've spawned in to uh, loading an episode in, Meg uh, in front of Megaton, it's been a DLC. But this time we're actually going to Scientific Pursuits, gain access to Vault 112. It was mostly just because it was the closest big settlement and where I'm keeping my stuff at the moment. So I dropped a lot of loot and sold a bunch of stuff. I have 2,000 caps this time. What all did I get rid of? I sold the cannons, the drone cannons, and I'm keeping the pulverizer on me because I have a crap ton of ammo for that thing. And they're pretty much the same stuff I had before. Still got my... Really overpowered power armor. And we're going to head right that way. I mean, we don't really have much else to do. So. Before we get to there, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. I love hearing y'all guys' thoughts. I've gotten some good feedback from uh, the Call of Duty series. But I, I, I'd love to hear some more about uh, about this Fallout, Fallout playthrough. I've enjoyed playing through the series so far. We've only done... New Vegas and 4. I'd love to go back and... If you guys think it'd be... Something you guys want to watch. I'd love to go back and play... Uh, even the classic Fallout games. I think they're pretty fun. They look pretty cool. So... But if you... If, if, it's really up to you guys if, if that's something you guys want to see. So make sure to leave comments down below. So I had a lot of fun with the... Mothership Zeta DLC, but still, in my opinion, the best DLC was Operation Anchorage. It was so good. Just constant fighting. I loved it. We didn't really... I mean, obviously, we got the overpowered power armor. The winterized, what, T-51? T-51B power armor. That is... It's still at full condition, which is probably how power armor would be in real life. Just like, okay, it's going to take a lot of abuse to hurt this thing. But, a lot of Fallout isn't like real life. So we're going to Vault 112. I don't know what it's going to be like there. I don't know if it's going to be a big fight or not. What the heck was that? Oh, Robo Brains. I already have to put it up with you guys. Actually, you know what? Okay, who is shooting rockets? Oh, that's an actual sentry bot. Oh, I have not seen one of those yet in this game. Oh, we're gonna run away. I don't know if those are super overpowered like it is in Fallout 4. Or unless you have the robotics expert and just can hack them. Hopefully he isn't gonna chase me. God, blow... Ah! What the heck? Oh. Mr. Gutsy? I think that's what those things are called. I'm just gonna keep running. We already have a long trip over there. Don't wanna keep fighting everything. Unless more stuff keeps spawning. Really? Oh. Just had to keep fighting me. It's okay. We can keep fighting. Ah. Uh, You guys want to fight? We can fight. I'm totally down. I have a lot of this alien biogel or adapted biogel. Heals so much health. How much of that actually do I actually have? 64. Each of them heal 110. And I still got 87 stim packs. I've been pretty good in this playthrough about keeping track of my stim packs and not like running out very quickly. I'm, I'm usually not that good at it. Fallout 4 is a little different where I can just cook food off every time I kill an enemy and I just clear house of all of nature around the map. Oh, 
but since you can't do this in this game or New Vegas, I feel like I've done a pretty decent job at maintaining uh, my stock of healing items. Because there's also stuff like the Blood Ties mission where you get the blood packs. But those weigh. Those actual, like, those weigh one each. So they're useful, but they don't. you don't have as many of them as stim packs. Dang it, I knew there was something near me. You don't have as many around the map as there are stim packs, so it's already not as useful. Is that a oh it's a tower. Okay. It's like I thought that was a skyscraper over there. But still, it's it's mainly stim packs and uh I guess this biogel from Sorry, the biogel from um, Mothership Zeta. I'm trying to figure out if it's in here or not. I do not think it's in this area. I think it's further beyond, right? Yes, okay. Thank God. I was about to say, I do not... I thought this was going to be a little easier than this. <laughs> Getting worried there's going to be a big fight. I kind of want just like a dialogue uh, area for now. I've had a lot of fights in the DLCs so far. And they've been great. They've actually been quite a bit of fun. But it's also fun. Like, I leveled up my speech for a reason. <laughs> to maybe dialogue my way through it. Not just go uh, guns blazing every five seconds. Oh, he needs to die? Okay, he's dead. Oh, that guy also needs to die? Okay, he's dead. Done. Problem solved. I've got a lot of, I've gotten some feedbacks of some games I, I, I potentially have lined up here in the near future. Uh, probably after this game, I still want to play uh, Borderlands 2. It's a game I've been lined up. It's one of my favorite games. Probably in all time. All time rankings is probably like in my top 10 favorite games to play. I think it'd be enjoyable to film. Hopefully it's enjoyable for you guys. I ain't going to promise anything, but I'm going to do my best. Um, besides that, I do have some, like, Assassin's Creed. The, the new ones. Uh, what is it? Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Assassin's Creed Origins. And one other new game. One, one of the newer ones. I have games like that, but... If you have any games you have in mind that I can put in, uh, in the backlog to get playthrough, then be sure to let me know. There's always Steam deals going on. I play on PC, so there's always some Steam deal going on. Is that Rad Scorpions? There's always some Steam deal going on, so I'll always be able to pick up a game sometime soon. Oh, is that... Wait, hold up. Can I use my repellent stick on this guy? Okay, this just killed him. I don't think that's what this uh, Wasteland Survival Guide is meant to do. I think it's actually supposed to repel them. Maybe? Turn on the light here. Tumblers today. That's a magazine. Lunchbox. Okay, let's just pull out the uh, pulverizer again. Okay, where the heck am I going here? Oh, he must be down here. Is it this? Okay, easy kill. Do I got anything else to loot? Gun cabinet. Nope, not worth it. I'll take the ammo at least, though. What do you got over here? Med kit, first aid box. I'll take it. Oh, there you are. 
I was like, I can't, I, I hear him, but I can't see him. Oh, this is it, okay. Not as much fighting as I thought it'd be. Open door to Vault 112. Oh, okay, this is way easier than I thought it'd be. Where am I going? Probably that way. It's up here. Is Tumblr's today a barter book? I want to use it before I get in here. Ooh, lock Tumblr. Okay, I'm a dummy. Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Please find the nearest Tranquility Lounger and be seated. Put on a Vault 112 suit. I can do that. As long as there's no fighting going on down here. Sit in an unoccupied Tranquility Lounger. Is this going to be like a uh, Operation Anchorage, Anchorage simulator? What's this way? Oh, wow. Can I loot around here first? Like, is there med kits? Not worth it. Um, also not worth it. Might actually follow the uh, path. Come on, give me some good stuff, man. It says there's something there, but I cannot see anything there. Yeah, it says there's stuff there, but there's definitely not stuff there. That probably leads down as well. Okay, let's get in one of these loungers. I feel like this is going to be another Operation Anchorage, like, some sort of simulation. Ooh, I'm definitely going in there. That's for sure. Um... Is this unoccupied? I can't click on these, so yeah, this one's unoccupied. So are all vault residents in this one just in a simulation forever? What the heck was that creepy doll face that popped up? Oh, okay. Just ran okay, random dog. What am I doing around here? Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. 
Hello. So is the nose bomb family? Good day to you. The heck? Okay, let me walk around real quick. So Betty's the kid and yeah, I know, fine dad. Bill Foster. Okay, let's go talk to uh Betty. Okay, stop whistling. This is really creepy. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. And you are I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? Uh, a game? Okay, I guess. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. Wha He's the only other kid that lives here besides you. He's a big crybaby. Make him cry, and then come back here so we can... Well, why do I have to do that? Why, why would I do that? Oh, we're gonna see what happens if it... Make a save right here. Hi there. I'm Timmy. Wanna... You're a... Hi. Wanna play? I don't like her. Your dad? It's okay, I guess. Okay, let me uh, reload that save and see what actually happens when you can successfully pass that skill check. Hi there, I'm Timmy. You're a big. Just keep reloading it. See if I can pass it. Hi there, I'm Timmy. What? Did I do something bad? I won't want the better. No! Okay, yeah, lose karma. That's yeah! definitely not what I'm supposed to do. Let's reload this. Let me investigate. If you lose karma, it's something the game doesn't like. Nosebomb residence. Let's see who else is around here. Gate. Abandoned house. I'll come back to that. Might be a lead. Garden gnomes. No, we're actually going to go inside. See if... You... You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. Finally, someone who knows what's going on. How do I get out of here? We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. Who are you talking about? He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. What fail-safe? What are you talking about? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. So, abandoned residence. Oh, you can't access the Pip-Boy. Oh, come on. You just get a Pip-Boy watch. And I, okay, I thought so. He did say I was a kid. You're the only other kid here besides you. Well, okay, he kind of alluded to the fact that he's not a kid. Or uh, I guess it's he. Uh, he. Have you gone Betty. To see Timmy yet? Betty alluded to the fact that she he is not a kid. I don't know what who, what gender the actual person is. Uh, because she said the only other kid here besides you. So abandoned house. What the heck is... So... Activate broken radio. 
glass pitcher, cinder block. There's a garden gnome. Empty desk. Oh, I thought that was a. <laughs> I thought it was the hanger. Empty bottle. Oh, I was about to say I can't turn on the light, can I? Ooh, actually. Fill up my health while I'm at it. Whatever this failsafe is, I don't know if there's going to be a fight afterwards, so. Full health. Let's keep investigating. Don't think there's anything here. What's upstairs? Then we'll come back to these uh, activatable objects. It's really dark and I don't like it. Oh, I feel like Chucky's going to pop out of a corner and just... So, what do these do? Nope, okay. Well, it's, it's giving me hints, so I know it's radio, pitcher. That one failed on cinder block, so is it gnome? Is it back to radio? Nope, okay. So radio, pitcher, gnome, pitcher. This has to be involved, so bottle. Nope, okay. I, uh, I think I just forgot the order. Um, radio, pitcher, gnome, pitcher, cinder block. Well, the only thing left is bottle, right? How many, how many more? I'm missing something here. Okay. So it's a radio, pitcher, gnome, pitcher, cinder block. It failed on this, right? No, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Is it radio again? Nope. Oh, God. Okay, is it back to this? Oh, okay. So it, get, it fails you if you go in the wrong order, so... I think it's supposed to be to the tune of this, uh... Song playing in the background. The tune. But I'm not good with tunes, memorizing that stuff, so... When you're going through this, if you already forgot it like I just did... Uh, <laughs> it tells you if it's wrong. So just keep doing it until you get it right. What are these entries? Okay. I don't think this is doing anything. The only thing left is access Chinese invasion program. I'm going to back out and make a save real quick. Just in case this causes a big fight and I die. What is the entry? There are days I consider finally pulling the plug, as it were, and putting a permanent end to both this simulation and my life. 
That is the reason I requested installation of General Chase's Chinese Invasion Program, after all. By disabling the safety protocols, I have ensured that each subject in Vault 112 will physically die if their in-simulation insimu avatars are killed, real-world death, end of simulation, the perfect failsafe. At least it would have been, if not for my own misjudgment. I knew, when the simulation first went online, that the secondary safeties that was established for all vault tech and military personnel would prevent my own real-world demise in the events of a failsafe execution. In the end, I would kill the subjects and save myself. I wouldn't want it any other way, or so I thought. It's true that failsafe would scare the living hell out of every resident in Tranquility Lane and lead to their brutal deaths, but then what about me? I have no ability to disable my own safety from within the simulation, and any other avatars I could create would be driven by the simulation's AI routines, not av actual living, thinking human subjects. Where's the fun in tormenting a machine? And so, the release of the real world subjects is more than they deserve, more than I could bear. They'd be dead, and I'd be left here in Tranquility Lane, alone and tra uh, tragically bored for all eternity. I can, I can think of nothing more unacceptable. So, let's initiate. Oh, review documentation before proceeding. I guess I'm going to read this too. Dr. Braun, here is the revi revised code for the military training program you've expressed interest in. I'm not sure exactly what you want with it, and I again stre stress that this program was never designed to be run with civ civilian equipment. Frankly, I don't expect any system you have access have access to can even run it. But if you can run this program with the fail-safes off, as a request, your real-world real test subjects will die if killed in the simulation. It goes without saying that officially I denied your request, General Constantine Chase. Okay. Simulate a communist incursion on U.S. soil. Test subjects will experience real real world termination. I'm I can't speak today. Extreme caution. Initiate. What's gonna happen? Am I at the fight? You've gained karma. So this this was the right thing to do. So are they fighting me? They're not shooting me. They're not shooting me. Am I supposed to fight them? Cool. Can I just... Can I fight you guys anyways? Are they leaving? Oh, they're killing everybody. They're just getting back up. Okay, what am I what am I waiting on here? Oh, it's still saying Timmy nose bomb. Where's Timmy at? Timmy's gone, so Do I go talk to Betty? Is that what it's saying? Ah, oh, I can't access the pit boy. Can't see the quest. Oh, there's a door popping up. Do you realize what you've done? Okay, creepy. You've triggered the failsafe. Ruined everything. The subjects will die and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything. Everything. It's all over now. Now shut up and answer my question. It is not over. It is not over until I say so. Do you understand me? I, I, I. I just want things to go back the way they were. I came here for my father. Now, where is he? He's been right here the whole time. And you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. So my father's okay. I can get him back? Yes, I'm sure he's fine. But there's no one with... Isn't it obvious? There's the door. Should I just put him out of my misery? Uh, out of his misery? When I leave this place? 
Tell me about the Gek. The Garden of Eden creation. Unstable technology and ultimately boring. It is my... I played... Kind of skipping through this. My name is Stanislaus Braun. I'm a vault tech scientist. I cre It was my own design. Okay. So it, it was... Okay, so we, do we just leave? Was that it? Somebody's getting out of that one, so... Son. Dad! You've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but... But what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You could have been killed. Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. Did you get the information you needed? I did indeed. Braun's work, the Gek, was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable, but I'm sure the components of that technology are just what we need, what we've been missing all this time. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the Gek, I can get her to see that it really will work. You need to go back to Rivet City? What about me? What am I supposed to do? Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? Well, when you ran away, how you got out. Overseer went as insane much as I and tried to kill your me. Help, you were supposed to stay there to make a life for yourself there, not out here. You were supposed to stay put. You could have had a good life in the vault. But I suppose it's too late to go back now, isn't it? The no, Overseer I killed him. would likely have a shot on sight. Well then, you'll just have to come with me to Rivet City. You've certainly proven yourself capable enough. Okay, let's head for Rivet City. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Can we just talk for a minute? Of course, son. What's on your mind? How could you leave me like that? What the hell were you thinking? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Yeah, quite obvious. Is this about mom? Are you trying so hard because of what happened to her? Oh, my son. If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did. And I don't want that to have been for nothing. I think I understand. I'm glad we talked. So am I, son. While this isn't what I had in mind, it's good to have you with me. <laughs> What's the big deal about water anyway? Um It started as an idea. Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the line. Over time, that idea this one was we used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location. Right on D Okay. What else can I talk to him about? Oh, he's booking it. So where is other dude at? R. Rockwell, J. Rockwell, Nosebomb, 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 Foster, Unoccupied, Simpson, Henderson, Unknown. Okay, so this is probably... Oh, I'm no longer authorized for it. So where was that? Where was that storeroom? 
Can I access this? Ooh, I do have enough science level. Ooh, I have not done this in a minute. Give this a couple tries here. Come on. Percentage, wrong. Okay. Also wrong. Horrible. Come on, just... Of course it's hard. I'm gonna struggle with this, ain't I? Well, let's restart. It's gonna take me a couple tries. Okay, shouldn't have done that one. Back and forth. There better be something worth I don't even think this is going to be worth it. I'm going to be honest. After Operation Anchorage and all the DLCs so far... I don't even think this is going to be... Oh, crap. <clears throat> Did it lock me out? Well, that's why I made a save. Come on. Some of these times I just got to luck out, right? Resounding. Nope. Incorrect. Department. Destroying. Nope. Okay. Please don't be like an eight-minute thing here. God, I suck at this. Come on. <laughs> okay. I don't even think this is going to be worth it, but come on, please. I've been really good about just lucking into the correct answer. Ooh, I, okay, exactly what I was talking about. Exactly what I was just talking about. None of this is worth it. Nope. Junk. Overseer's room password. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take the grenades, everything. Those are kind of overpowered in this game. Haven't been utilizing them well enough. Okay, let's find the Overseer's room, because that'd be kind of useful. Where is Overseer's room? Gotta find that. Overseer's office. Hello, sir. Activate access computer. Let's make a save again. If this dude, I'm gonna, I might try to kill this dude. It's a safe easy. Okay. I feel like I haven't lockpicked in so long.
Why does everybody that's been in a vault forever have bottle caps? It wasn't really a thing before the war. Or before the bomb... Uh, before the bombs fell. So, like, what should I do with this dude? Make a save here. Oh, I'm not even authorized to do anything. Like, what... Is, can I do nothing here? Oh, that's an old dude right there. I guess I can't do anything to him. Yeah, I guess not. That sucks. I was hoping to get rid of that dude. But I guess he's in his own little torture chamber for the rest of the time. Let's get out of here. Oh, Dad's still waiting. <laughs> okay, he's still waiting down here for us. Hello, sir. My bad. Let me put back on my gear. Not your stupid crap of vault jumpsuits. Yeah, I guess he didn't realize the fact that he escapes vault... The vault overseer for 101 just goes absolutely bat... I was about to, about to swear. I'm trying to keep this relatively tame. Just goes absolutely insane. And tries to kill your son because you escaped. And then, uh, plan didn't work out the way he thought. Guess he didn't think about that one. So is he just gonna... To have to do this. Oh, please don't tell me he can die. Please do not tell me he can die. We're gonna... I guess we're gonna kill you guys. This thing is very inaccurate. Oh, what the heck was that? Sounded like an... We're gonna have to talk. No, come back here. Stop running. Come here. Oh, you're a piece of crap. Stop running. Come on, man. Gotta stop. No? Maybe? Oh, whatever. We're just gonna meet you in Rivet City. Go to the Rivet City Science Lab. Okay, yeah, I don't have to talk to you. Well, wow, enemies are nearby. There's nobody nearby. Oh, there is. The way I'm yeah, if I was getting shot at by alien weaponry, I'd probably be a little bit of worried too. I'm gonna be honest. So, Rivet City Science Lab. I was about to say, the bridge isn't there. I guess he's going to send it back out. Hey, buddy, I think I have some proof fried water I'll for you. forget you. You mean... My... Why not? Be a good dude. So do I just wait for him to get here? Can I just, like... Wait for it to get light out? It's 2 a.m. Let's wait six hours. Hopefully, Dad will be in the science lab by then. No, he's still very far away. Oh, he's there? Wait, is he at the... Oh, he's on the other side of the Jefferson Memorial. Okay, let's just go into the science lab. We'll get there. So, go to the stairwell. Midship deck. I forgot this place is a freaking maze, man. There's no way to know where you're... I mean, I guess there's signs, but... Science lab. Yeah, okay. You don't have to prove me wrong all the time. 
Okay, he just gets in here. <laughs> okay, that works. I told you it would work, Madison. And now I can prove it. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know, I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Did you need something? So, who am I talking to now? Hello, son. We need to get back to Project Purity. Won't that be dangerous? Probably. But we have to try, don't we? It's too important for the people of the Wasteland. We need to get moving, right? Um... Give me Are one you sure? second. If you change your mind, you can always meet up... You found him? I can't believe it! You have my... I told you I'd find him. So you did. I have faith in your father. Okay. So do I... I joined them at the Jefferson Memorial, right? I mean... Good to see you. I think this is probably where we're gonna call it for this part. I think we've gone far enough right now. I feel like we're this next area is going to be more of a uh, big step, probably into some fighting. I don't really want to just jump right into that just yet, right at the tail end of where I'd normally cut it. Hi. So let me get out of Rivet City here. We'll talk more. Hey. That's the marketplace. I guess I can go in there. Okay, we are outside. I hope you guys enjoy this part. We, we, I mean, honestly, we went through it pretty quick for uh, Tranquility Lane. It did give you kind of a cheat way through it because, I mean, it did literally say, uh, it did give you a, a beep for wrong answer. So the failsafe code was, it's pretty easy to figure out. But we got through that pretty quickly. I was kind of got sidetracked there. I was trying to see if I could kill that dude. I didn't really see a way. I got abandoned quick. And I guess next time we'll take off on the Jefferson Memorial. I think we're pretty close to getting the Project Purity up and running. I probably am wrong completely. There's going to be so much more parts. <laughs> I have no clue. But I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.